Well, it's a chance to go to the top of Skybet League One today for Ipswich Town. The teams have just come out onto the field here. If you're just listening here on I Follow Ipswich, move and then darting inside, just trying to evade the attention of his marker, Olenka. Laid across as Luongo comes forward, stretches it out to the left flank, back again to the top of the 18-yard box where Morsi will have a go. Saved down to his right by Luke Southwood. Plenty of blue shirts inside the penalty area. In fact, all of them are to deal with this. It's into a very busy area. The header gets through, but it's well saved by Christian Walton. It didn't have any power on it, really, the effort. Element of patience, perhaps, from Ipswich here. So they look for cracks to open up. Moved inside by Burns towards Hurst. Lays it off to Chaplin on the edge of the box. Lovely little back heel. Harness in behind. That's a big chance. And he fluffs his lines. Right-hand side of the 18-yard box. Trying to find the far corner. Beautifully created. And he move inside to the top of the 18-yard box. He's still going as he's got away from Morse. He's still got possession on the edge of the 18-yard box. Now slides across to May. All the way across. It hits the post. And it's cleared away. It takes a ricochet off Ryan Broom. Who's trying to close down the clearance. And it's behind for a goal kick. And they turn this into some something here as Luongo has it, feeds it down the left sideline and there's two waiting inside the 18-yard box, it comes across, oh. the flag's up anyway as George Hurst tucks it away. And I have to say the flag came very early because Burns and Hurst were just a yard or two in front of the last defender in line with the near post on the edge of the six-yard box as it's thrown in towards him, Great flicked header. on by Clark, beautiful flick Goal. on, it's going to fall for Burns straight to the keeper from eight yards away. Where's yard Brilliant box pile, until Edwards right. collects it moves it into space evading the attention of Bonds going through the centre of the field gives it out towards the left now it's collected by Hurst edge of the 18 Brilliant. yard box Hurst off oh. the crossbar pulling the trigger ripping it with the right boot through and that's the last bit is bit was missing down the shot long there we go. on the right and yeah. Connor Chaplin's there with the touch on the edge of the six yard box it dropped perfectly into Chaplin, who gets the touch and just side foots it past Luke Southend. And Ipswich have had to be patient again this Easter weekend, but their patience pays off with the breakthrough. A long throw of all goals. <laughs> so unlike us. They're across to mark him. And it's a two-man walk. In the end, the free kick comes in from Davis towards the back post. Goal. That back across goal. Chaplin oh, pulls the trigger. Chappers. So and it's up and over the top of the crossbar. The blue shirts start to push out from the back as it's collected at the halfway line by the host and sent back over the top. It's going to hang in the air. Keeper coming, has to get there. Doesn't as initially as Walton's brought down. No free kick given. Come and on, on the turn from the edge of the 18-yard box, Alfie May is able to capitalise. Christian Walton coming for a ball that hung in the air and he didn't judge it correctly. Clattered with the striker. I think it was Aidan Keener. And the ball falling eventually to Alfie May while the goal was gaping. And on the turn, just able to side foot it from the edge of the 18-yard box into the back of the net and Cheltenham Town do have their equaliser. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good finish on the turn, but such a bad ball to give away. We're both coming across to collect that loose ball. Nervy moments at the back suddenly for the away side. Instead, it's moved away by Edwards towards Clark and there are no more chances left oh. for Ipswich to keep the winning run continuing. It ends at eight games, victorious the streak but still unbeaten now in 13 in Skybet League One. It was always going to be difficult on the road this bank holiday Monday, this Easter, and Ipswich can only claim a point here against Cheltenham Town.